<clears throat> we are wired to experience another's plight as if it is our own. Our first drive is an empathic drive. Our first drive is actually a drive to actually belong. We are wired for attachment. We are wired for sociability. We are wired for affection. We are wired for companionship. As human beings, that's an essential part of the human condition. If we are to win hearts and minds, we need to begin with the premise that people want to belong to something. They want to belong to something bigger than themselves. They want to be in relationship with others. Our first drive is a drive to actually belong. It's an empathic drive. That's why teams are powerful. That's why people sacrifice their own interest for their teams. Whether it's a work team or a sports team, I live in New York, and I can tell you I have some friends who will go to Giant Stadium in a hailstorm, sleet storm, freezing cold temperatures with a face painted blue to support their team, and they could easily watch the game on TV and be much more comfortable. But they do it because their identity as a fan is so important to them. I spent a lot of time in Indianapolis, and every time the Colts are playing, everyone of my clients is wearing a blue jersey because the Colts are playing. They just want to belong as part of the Colts. I noticed that the officers of BMA <laughs> are clearly recognizable around the room. And that is, a, that is an absolutely appropriate part of human connection. We understand your relationship to each other and to the bigger group by virtue of the emblem of relationship that you wear. There are huge implications for this for marketing. There are huge implications of this for employee relations. There are huge implications for this just in society as a whole. And we need to take seriously emotional connection, especially when we come back and talk about things going horribly wrong. But human beings crave connection. And if we are to win human hearts and minds, we need to begin by connecting with them, even if it's by some trick of sucking on a lemon in front of a group of people. <laughs>